Okay, this is a Lonely Man Shopping Center here. Morganton, North Carolina. We're, I guess we're rural. I guess we're rural. We got Harbor Freight there. This is what I've come to see, though. The Rural King. Got some of the flyers for this place. It's windy out here. Sorry about that. It's, uh, anyway, the uh, flyers for Rural King. So, I, I, you, know, you know what they have. Stuff that rural people want. So, I'm going to check it out. The Rural King. You don't, don't have these in uh, New York City or San Francisco. I think. Next to Buff's Tire and Service. Buff. Anyway, I'll have to befriend Buff. Maybe he'll give me a discount. Alright, we're checking out the Rural King. Join me. Shall you? First, first impression, kinda dark. I got the lights on, I think about one-third power. And then, no more than a couple steps inside, and we got some camo on clearance. <laughs> and, and some crew socks, and a lot of jeans. I mean, a lot of jeans. I, I wonder if they got any that my uh, doxy could fit into. Uh, there we go! I'm gonna get these for the Doxy. Yeah, they're only 10 bucks. I think he'd look even better in some of these. What do you think? <laughs> wow. What? World Star would be good, right without some good old kick ass boots, right? And some camo socks. Ooh, they're not quite camo, are they? I'm sure that if I were to ask people in this store who they'd like to vote for president, I'd probably get about 98% not Donald Trump people. The thing is now, how about selling some Donald Trump wigs? Wouldn't that be a good marketing scheme? Show your support? We've got that. Yes, that's right. What, and what rural store would be in complete without, would complete without guns? Firearms. Okay. Target. Oh, a dear Target. Wow. Got some batteries for the truck. Got some big, big ass gas cans. Yeah. Got some tars too. Burning rubber. Oh yeah. And a whole bunch of automotive supplies. We got some big uh, drums, gas drums. You know, this would be a good store for preppers. You could really do some good prepping in here. You know, I'm telling you, for that day, look at these, can tube. You could put a lot of stuff in that sucker. Wow, holy cow. Is that a line screw? I don't know, maybe. Maybe that is. I'll have to ask him, do you have any line screws? Now look at that, what is that? Holy cow, it's got a big thing with a fan on it. Blower, a massive blower. Ooh, almost enough hot air for Washington, D.C. We got our good old propane, which every nomad knows about. Well, maybe here there's some line screws. Carriage bolts, uh, I don't know. Carriage screws? I don't know, flat washers, uh, nuts, rod Sturgis nuts. I hope they have some. No, I want a line screw, damn it. No, 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 I want a line screw. Not a clevis pin. Every kind of tubing you could possibly need. <laughs> you know, for... <laughs> Pipe hanger. Ooh, tubing and pipes. Yeah. Wayne. Wayne? RV Prepper Wayne? I didn't know we had a line of uh, products. He went WaynePumps.com. Of course, what good rural store would be lacking? Not the Gorilla tape or the duct tape. 
Oh, look at it all. Oh, we got all these kinds. Any? Okay, we gotta have the camo. Well, we do have the Woodlands camo duct tape. Okay, that'll that'll pass. It's not really military, but it'll work. Yeah, frog tape. Of course, kills for all those nasty, unremovable ceiling stains. How'd that get there? Barb and chain oil? Oh, bar and chain oil. I don't know where my mind's been. And of course, the farm stuff. Tater farm and ranch equipment. Oh, tartar. See, I'm, I'm not seeing real well today. Tartar. All right, Mr. where's Mr. Ziffle? Wipe and spray for horses, huh? Wow, we got the masks over here. We got ho the horse section. Holy cow. Peppermint flavored horse treats. I could think of a, a few nomads I like to send those to. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna mention any. Oh, these are cool, look at these. Oh, wow. Harnesses. For your for your puppy exhibitor number harnesses hmm cattle you can order cows here where moo wow wow all these harnesses it's not a mr buddy it's a mr heater i wonder if that's any better i don't know good friends training pads hmm Think of a few pooches that could use those. Uh, I've got some bird houses. This is cool. This is really nice. Uh, hummingbirds and a country music plan. A whole section for the little farmer to be. This is uh, for your little farmer rat and for the little farmer farmer dude. Oh yeah, get acquainted young, and maybe not even get on the farm. Maybe your little farm farm boy will end up being a UPS driver. <laughs> or a fireman, or a cement truck driver. I, those, if I was eight or nine, look at this. If I was eight years old, I would love one of these. Oh, if I could only go back in time. Maybe I should trade trade little Adam in for one of these. <laughs> and a little kitty tractor. Isn't that neat? That is sweet. All right, looks like a storm's coming. For, uh, Anyway, that was really cool. The rural king. I did not mean to disparage anybody who's in love with rural stuff. I, you know, I'm just having some fun with it. Anyway, that was really cool. The rural king. Check it out. I think they have a chain of those throughout the rural south. And I don't know exactly where all they are, but that's pretty neat. Rural king. I'm glad you could join me. And uh, you all have a wonderful day. Got to get in my brand new F-150. Take it home. Don't you mess with it. Good words to end this show on.